up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna to be doing a charizard deck um charizard is an insane card super tanky 108 hp 200 damage from crimson storm literally can one shot anyone uh the only problem is that they're a little bit of a slow burn takes a while to stack up that energy to four also discards two energy as well but i'm only showing you guys the best deck to run with charizard it is a really fun deck i'm not gonna lie it definitely does have its weaknesses and we'll go through that in a moment so the deck we're running are is two charmanders two charmeleons two charizards ex and two moltres ex so moltres is essential for this deck um we need that inferno dance this is what really helps us basically uh, in an ideal world we want moltres in front just spamming inferno dance stacking all that energy into our charizard and then it's pretty much game over uh, it can also do some solid damage with heat blast as well but really we just want them for the inferno dance one of the biggest weaknesses with the deck though is charmander i think charmander is probably the worst basic in the game i can't think of anyone worse than charmander so 60 hp pretty standard um but ember so 30 damage that's pretty solid but the problem is is they discard one fire energy and if we're doing that that's going to really slow down our progression into be able to get our charizard into max damage mode and that sucks that really sucks so i wish they would take that away because it really it makes Charmander just a sitting duck and they can't do anything. So the worst starting hand you can get is Charmander in the front line um, because obviously they can die very easily. And to be honest, they can't do damage because we need basically this deck heavily relies on Charizard's damage. And if we can't get that up and running, we're, we're just going to lose flat out. So um, then we've got two potions, obviously potion great for keeping our Pokemon topped up. We definitely need two X speeds. Uh, the reason for that is, is if we've got Charis, uh, sorry, if we've got Charmander in front, we need to swap him out for Moltres and then, you know, then we can be happy and start popping off. Two Pokeballs, two Professor Oaks. It's the standard. They're always going to be in there. Um, Pokeballs, just so we can get the Pokemon we need, like a Moltres, so we can throw them in the front line. And Professor Oak, obviously, just to help us cycle through the deck as quickly as possible. And then two red cards. A red card is so underrated. Such a good card. So we can use this to help us stall out fights. If they've got five cards in their hand, we're going to drop our red card. And that's going to put two cards back into their deck. So it just sort of stalls out your opponent and slows them down as well. And you can just get a bit of a, um, bit of a lead. So it really helps you with tempo. So you can get a lead over your opponent and they're going to be lagging behind us. And then two Sabrina. Sabrina's great. Just gives us that control. We can choose who we're going to knock out on the enemy team. Um, you could maybe throw in Giovanni, but I just feel like it's a bit of a waste because Charizard is just going to come in with a one shot, but you could use it for Slash. Um, but otherwise, I just feel like I'd rather have that control with Sabrina. So this is the control Moltres Charizard deck that we're running. Let's get some matches on. And we're going up squiggly diggly wiggly diggly. So I always say this, if anyone speaks Korean or Japanese, I'm not sure what language this is, let me know their name in the comment below. I love to know who I'm going up against, and I don't have a clue what that is. Uh, so going first, that's not the best. We've got a pretty good sign hand, obviously Moltres going straight in front. We've got Pokeball, so we could hopefully pick up a, a Charmander. We've also got Professor Oak, again, just being able to cycle through your deck gives you a massive advantage so we're both 15 each and we've got a charmander so yeah straight away gonna drop charmander gonna drop that pokeball as well i like to drop the pokeball first just because it does do that shuffle which i don't like to be honest i'd wish the cards would just stay where they are um i guess it doesn't really have a massive impact gonna drop the professor to get two cards out as well so we've just taken out three cards from our deck and we're gonna be cheeky we're gonna drop the red card straight off the bat oh so we are going against a stall deck. It probably is a Mewtwo coffin deck. Um, otherwise, maybe Alakazam and Weezing. But yeah, we'll see what's going on. But yeah, we've got a pretty good starting hand. Just need a Charmeleon. 
And see, we're 11 cards, they're at 13. So you have that little bit of a lead, slowing down their tempo. Oh, but they are playing catch up. And they did get a Professor Oak as well. So that's a little bit annoying. But yeah, Coffin. Um, I'm a big Weezing fan. Love Weezing. One of the best stall cards in the game. The only problem with him is though, is he brings dark energy. And we don't want dark energy. Dark energy can be a little bit of a hindrance. Especially if you're running certain decks like Mewtwo. Mewtwo needs four energy. And if you keep getting that dark energy, it's just a little bit frustrating. Because you're not getting the energy that you want. One okay, one energy. It's not bad. Can stick it on Charmander. And that's what we want to do, really, is we just want to, you know, let Moltres get rolling, and then we are just gonna pump everything into Charmander. Um, but we can one shot uh coffin. Oh, there it is. There's the wheezing. And he's the wrong energy. So he's gonna do nothing to us. Oh, this guy's playing an off meta, off meta deck. I have never played against Golet, who turns into is it Gorlurk? Never played against him. So that's an interesting one. So we're gonna still put energy into Moltres. And just thinking. Now we're gonna save, we're gonna hold on to Sabrina for now. Okay, Inferno Dance. And can we get a little bit lucky? Sweet. Nice. So you can see like Charma, uh, Charmeleon now is getting pumped. Um, could probably actually switch out, but I'm not going to. Just going to wait till basically Charma, uh, show you Charizard is at like max power. And there it is, Golurk. Flips to a coin, does 100 damage for each head. That's pretty insane, but it's very RNG, probably the worst RNG out of all the cards. So 100% we're going to drop Charizard straight off the bat. And I love this card. Just the artwork is just on another level. So sick, so sick. But yeah, love that card. I think it's my favorite card in the game. So that's why we have to use Charizard. And again, we've got another Charmander, so let's drop that in there. So we're going to max out Moltres, and we're going to do one more Inferno Dance. Hopefully, we get another two or three energy. Okay. All right, at least it's one. One energy, we'll take it. Going to drop that on Charizard. And I think it's now time for Charizard to come into play. This is the fun part. This is where, you know, Charizard really shines. Um, I guess... There are some big weaknesses to Charizard. So one being water and, you know, Starmie, Articuno is everywhere. We will really struggle against that deck. Um, it would not be hard for them at all to just absolutely destroy Moltres. And as soon as Moltres goes down, we're a little bit weak. So yeah, let's get Charizard in there. And yeah, let's 100% we're going for the one shot. Wheezing down. That's wheezing out. And whoever he brings in is just going to get wrecked. I mean, all go luck. So he can actually go. Imagine, just imagine if he one shots our Charizard. That would be like the most hilarious thing ever. No way. So let's see. There we go, guys. And. <laughs> That's why I hate RNG cards. Um, zero damage. Apart from Arawak and maybe Kangaskhan. I don't think there's really any. And that's it. Game over. Easy money. Easy. All right. Let's let's uh, let's move on to the next one, guys. Okay. And another squiggly diggly wiggly. Again, guys, if anyone can translate out there, let us know what the names are. So going first, not the best. Oh, and Charmander Steinhand, not, not the best. But we are going up against Grass. Okay, this can be interesting. So Lapras and Venusaur. Uh, I have no idea what this guy's running. Definitely a, an off-meta deck. Just hoping we can get a Moltres. There it is, guys. So we're going to put Moltres out. 
Oh, they could have Misty. So we could get one shot, but hopefully not. And we've already got Charizard in hand. And another Moltres. So let's fill up the bench. And we've still got one Professor in there and two Charmeleons. Okay, hoping we can pick up a, an X speed so we can swap out Charmander for Moltres. And what's this guy running? It's got, got, it's got to be a Venusaur deck. Butterfree. Okay, interesting. So I guess Butterfree and Lapras um, just can do a lot of healing. A lot of healing. So I can definitely see why they're doing that. So let's uh, red card them. And we've got a little bit of lag going on. Let's wait for them to come back. All right, they're back, guys. Um, yeah, so this could be a difficult matchup for us just because they've got some water in hand. Um, but this is why I don't really... I try to avoid mixing different type Pokemon because Lapras is pretty useless at the moment. They're lucky that they can get some water now. But um, yeah, it could be really, really difficult for them. And let's swap out. Um, they've got to have Misty. There's no way you can not have Misty in a deck like this. And it's one of the good things with Moltres that we're weak against Electricity. Um, I feel like this deck would struggle against any Rush decks. So Pikachu could be a real, a real bummer to deal with. Uh, even Marowak could be probably quite difficult as well. Um, the other decks, obviously, anything with Water... We're going to struggle again, especially Starmie and Articuno. I mean, that's a deadly deck anyway, but put them together and yeah, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to deal with that. Again, it is basically another rush deck as well. Ooh, this guy got some real luck in there. So they are going to be able to start chipping away at Moltres. Perfect. Just, just what the doctor ordered. And we're actually going to put our energy straight into Charmeleon. And we're going to keep Lapras out because we want to get the one shot. As soon as Lapras is out the game, this is a game over. They are not going to be able to handle the Charizard. So yeah, put all that energy straight into Charmeleon. And again, we've got to wait for the lag. Oh no, we just got red carded. That was like a real crucial time. Damn. Seven and they are at seven. That has really thrown a spanner in the works. Just hoping the professor can pick someone up or we get a Charizard next turn. So we've got seven cards. We are just going to straight up have to throw in Charmeleon and just pray to Aaron Jesus that we can get a Charizard. So seven cards. So hopefully Charizard. Nope. So then the next option is going to be the professors. That's another two cards. There we go, guys. Oh, sheesh. I was feeling it, guys. I was feeling it. I was feeling the pressure. And I'm hoping this guy doesn't retreat. I just hate when someone concedes. Um, you know, let, let us get the win. We've earned it. Let us get it. But there we go, guys. Charizard coming in hard. Um, I guess another weakness with this deck is that we heavily rely on Charizard and trying to get Charizard into play can be difficult sometimes. But yeah, he's coming in clutch here and just an unstoppable force. GG, man. GG. See you later, buddy. All right, guys. So we're two for two. I think we're going to do one more. Um, it may be a win. It may be a loss, but... That's the problem with this deck. I don't feel like this is a deck that you could win loads of matches in a row, get those like sort of five wins. It's not the strongest deck in the game. Um, it is good against other slow decks like Dragonite, Venusaur. Yeah, so drop that Moltres. This is a really, really good Stai hand. I don't think it gets much better than that. Got Charmeleon as well, so we can straight away get Charmander up and running. The Professor, the Pokeball. 
really, really good. Um, going up against Machamp deck, Machamp only needs three energy to start popping off, and he can slap. There's no one stopping Machamp, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes, and this is the perfect run for us. How many cards have they got? Four. So I'm going to hold off for now with the red card. We'll save it for the for the next turn. Okay, so he's going to straight away start doing some damage with Machop. And two red cards. We can be really, really annoying now. So let's uh, drop Charmeleon. Inferno Dance. I'm hoping we get that free for three because, like I said, this, this is a fun deck. It's not the most OP deck. And yeah, everything into Charmeleon. And we do have that X speed as well, so I feel like I'm not going to just put everything into Moltres. I'm going to just purely focus on Charmeleon if we can get that, if we can get Charizard. So we've got two Charizards and one Professor in there. So it's sort of like a 30% chance, roughly, to get what we're after. And there it is, boys. Okay, so we've already got Charizard. Oh, I'm blind as well. Charizard was just sitting there, didn't even didn't even register. So Inferno Dance again. Putting all our energy straight into Charizard. And this is all we need is if we can just get that one more energy, it's game over. As soon as Machoke goes down, they're not gonna be able to handle this. They don't want the smoke. Not gonna be a how to hack it. Uh, Sand Slash is pretty decent. Um, I like to run Sand Slash with Marowak. Uh, that 70 damage at two energy, um, 100 HP as well. It's quite easy to sort of swap in Sand Slash and just finish off people. Um, because Marowak can be a little bit RNG. So if you want to definitely make sure you take one out, that's what I like to do. And there it is. There's Machamp. Not EX though. Uh, definitely prefer EX is so so much better. But um, it's all good, guys. We you know we've got Charizard in hand. And we're definitely gonna just start popping off right now. Got potions as well. Not that we're gonna need it. 180 HP. No one, no one's gonna be able to handle that. Ace, Crimson Storm. Bah! Sit down. So that's my champ out. And it sort of just comes down to do they have anything else that they can throw in the back line? If not, it's game over, man. Another Machop. Oh, my chap. He just looks so weak. So no need for fancy plays. <laughs> We're just gonna go in hard and fast. And that's it, guys. It's that's all she wrote. Game over. Um, a chop coming in. He's not. He's not going to be able to withstand this. Yep. And we don't have Giovanni, so we'll not be able to to one. There we go, guys. See you later, buddy. And yeah, so that's the Charizard deck. We did manage to get three out of three. But um, again, I just feel like this deck would struggle against any sort of meta decks like Pikachu, Mewtwo, really strong decks, um, any Rush decks as well. So even Marowak and Starmie, Articuno, yeah, the struggle would be real. But anything sort of slow and stuff, we definitely have an advantage. We did get lucky with the three wins today. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Let me know if you guys have got any variation for Charizard. Um, I do feel that Moltres is the core for almost every fire deck. Just because all fire Pokemon, they need so much energy into them. And they're always discarding energy as well. So Moltres is kind of the core. But anyone roll, running sort of any sort of variations of this deck, let me know in the comments below. Because I love to know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.